I'm Caleb Brooks with the HSAA Radio Network. I'm at Coleman High School joined by A.K. Eastman of the Lady Bearcat basketball team here. And uh, A.K., for you guys, um, you've had some successful seasons here in your career um, playing. You know, you, you moved here from Muscle Shoals in sixth grade, so you've played your whole career here. And right now you have a uh, really, really big streak going on. You've made 42 straight free throws, and, and that's an HSA record. And, um, I, you know, we'll start off there for you. What's it like to have that and, and, you know, to be on this streak and it's still going on? You're going to carry it over from last season this coming year. What's it like for you? Uh, it's crazy. I didn't even know that I was at a streak. I knew I had a lot in a row, but after the game, we played Muscle Shoals and lost. They told me that I had broken it, and it was really exciting, but I, wouldn't have, I would have rather won than have a record any day. What is it about free throw shooting that makes it so easy for you? I just routine doing it every single day. How much do you practice free throw shooting? I mean, like, you know, obviously basketball players sometimes set, I'm going to do 200 of these a day, 200. So, I mean, what's your routine for shooting free we throws? We have this 5,000 shot challenge that we do every year, and I think that helps a lot because I make, like, about 100 free throws when I'm doing that ch challenge every day. So, You know, it, the free throw shooting in basketball is it's unique because in basketball it's five on five, but then that one moment, the whole spotlight's on you. So what are some of the things when you get up there to the free throw line that you do to kind of calm yourself down? Because you do have to kind of gather your breath and, you know, really calm yourself down before you shoot a free throw. Yeah, I always have to take a big breath, three dribbles, find the middle of the basketball. And I just had to tell myself, you got this. Because if you have a negative attitude, then you're not going to make it. How did you develop your routine? Because everybody has their own little, you know, routine they do before the free throw shooting. So how did you develop yours? Just have it, I guess. It just felt right. You know, do you ever get up there and now think about that routine now, or is it just it's such a habit that it's, it's just, just a habit. you know? Because I feel like you get some guys where you see you see in the NBA they have to do this certain routine, or they're they they just go mentally all over the place. And you know, do you ever kind of feel that when you're up there by yourself? Like, you know, do you have to mentally prepare yourself to go up there and shoot these free throws? Yeah, for sure. You know, what is, I guess, during this streak, what would you say has probably been the biggest free throw that you've made during this whole streak? Probably against Athens when we were down two and I tied the game. And then we went to overtime, I think. You know, for you guys last year, you, you get knocked out by Muscle Shoals, where you're from. Um, what was that like, to get knocked out by them? And obviously, you probably personally wanted to get after them as mm -hmm. well, since you know some of the girls yeah. on that team. But, you know, I mean, what was that like to, to go up against them, to face, you know, where you're from, get knocked out by them, and, and have to deal with that after last season? Yeah, I played with all, the, all those girls growing up, travel during school, and going back, seeing them, seeing all my, like, friends from there, it was weird. But <laughs> uh, I, I guess I wanted that game a lot more than the other ones, and especially go to Wall State, because I've never done that before. So it hurt, especially getting beat by people that I actually knew. So. Yeah, and you know, for you guys last year, it was a successful season. Uh, you had a good year, and uh, how did you feel overall about not only your season personally, but you know, as a team, what you guys were able to do? Yeah, I felt like we grew and grew as a team. And I feel like that hurt going to watch at Wallace State not playing. That feeling of loss, you don't want to do that again, and you want to win this season and get there. Have you kind of seen from your team a little bit more motivation this off season coming off that loss? Yeah, I'd say so. What are some of the things that you guys have been doing this summer to kind of ensure that, you know, you get to the same point next year and, you know, now you can get past it? I mean, we have our summer workouts uh, in June and then lots of girls play at U during July and I think that really helps develop them. Going into this season for you guys and, you know, still got a long way away, um, got a lot of work to put in, but, you know, what is the goal for this team? What is the expectation for this group now going into this year? I mean, I know personally I really would like to go to Wall State. I would love to go to Birmingham. I think that's our goal right now. Yeah, and I mean, what an experience that would be, not only go to Wall State, but then ultimately to make it to Birmingham. And, you know, you look around this place right here, the first thing I noticed walking in was this gym is gorgeous, especially the floor. I mean, what's it like running out here for home games and having this home court to run out onto? Yeah, there's nothing like it. At all. I mean, you know, when you run out, you got the fans cheering for you and you got the community supporting y'all the way that it does here. I mean, what, what kind of feeling does that give you running out here? I guess it gives you the heart beating out of the chest kind of feeling. You don't yeah. feel it anywhere else. 
Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to join me today. Um, you know, congratulations on the record. We hope that you can continue to, uh, you know, extend the record and make it where nobody can ever catch you. But, uh, you know, good luck going into your senior year, and uh, we look forward to seeing how it goes for you. Thank you.